Hey everybody, it's John from FinSuite with another FN Suite Webflow hack. We're gonna make a profit margin calculator with a Webflow form. So let's take a look at the live example and then we can walk through the code. So we're here in the live example. This is hacks.finsuite.com slash 46. And we can see here, we got two inputs. We've got the cost. So let's say we're selling t-shirts and we're selling it for $20 a piece and we wanna see what our gross margin is. And so we say, well, what would happen if we did a 10% markup? And there in real time, we've got our profit would be $2 and our gross margin would be 9.09%. Okay, so let's jump into Webflow Designer and see how this is formed. All right, we're here in Designer and we can look at right here and all this is is a form right there. So here's our container and here we just have our form block. And to make this work, we need five IDs. This hack works with just IDs and we've got two IDs input value here and input dash markup. And then we have IDs on each of these things right here, just these text nodes, okay? Text margin, text profit, and text sales price. Now, as in all of the hacks, these don't have to be these exact IDs or classes. They just need to match up to what's in the code, which is what we're gonna look at next. Okay, so we're here before the closing body tag, and this is the script that makes this all work. And it's just four functions, one, two, three, and then this little guy at the end, four. So let's walk through this. On input value input, well, what, what is that? Well, we've got this dollar sign here, which just tells us we're using jQuery. It's a, it's a JavaScript library that sits on top of JavaScript and just makes stuff easier. All right, and this dollar sign just means get this thing, get this paragraph, get this div. And we are, which div, which thing are we getting? Well, whatever thing with the ID of input value. Okay, cool, we've seen that before. That's just this guy right here, input value. Great, so we're just grabbing that and we are saying on, what's that? Well, that's just an event listener. That's when you just when you just want something to happen when some event happens. So here you can use these for you know clicks or right here we're using it for inputs. What's an input event? Well, that's right here. That was an input event, and this is an input event. Whenever that happens, we want to do something. We want to run this function. Okay, cool. What does this function do? Well, the first thing we're gonna get item cost. Item cost, so we're setting a variable. We're declaring this variable, item cost. Once again, we're grabbing something. We're grabbing something called this. What's well, this? Well, this is, we're inside this event. It's that event that happens. So whenever someone does an event right here, that event of putting stuff in there, we're saying, oh, that, I wanna reference that thing. We're grabbing this and we're grabbing the value out of there. So in our example here, we originally said 20. So we're grabbing that 20 and we're dumping it into item cost. Okay, cool. Next, we wanna display sale price. So once again, just like up here and up here, we're grabbing something. This time we're grabbing text sales price. What's that? That is this right here, text sales price. And we are, we are dot texting. What's dot texting? Well, that's just setting the text. That's just changing the text. And because when this happens, this changes. And so we're just setting that. We're just changing the text. And we're changing the text to this thing right here. We'll come back to this. Item cost. To, so in our example, we were saying 20. But... Before we set that, we need to run this function over it, format number. What's format number? Where does that come from? That's not a jQuery function. That's not a, a primitive JavaScript function. What is that? Oh, that's one we've made down here at the bottom, this format number. And what this does, we see in the comments right here, is it turns this 3500 into a pretty 
3500 with a dollar sign and a comma. Now, you're, you're welcome to look through this code right here, but this is just one of those prettifying functions that can uh, sometimes get a little bit technical and it doesn't really matter to understand it because normally it's just, uh, it's just doing a really basic formatting thing or something like that. And so it's turning it into that because when we put this in here, it doesn't look like this bear 19. It looks like a nice dollar sign 19. Or if we had 1900, we get a nice comma in there. Okay, cool. So we've got that. The next thing is we're grabbing the markup value. What's that? Right here, this markup value. In our example, we said 10. Okay. So we grab 10, that value. We're putting it into markup value. And here we say if markup value is nothing, that's just negation. So if it's empty, if there's nothing in there, so if there's nothing in here, that's if this were the case, I want you to return. And that just means stop, stop running this function. You're all done, you can jump out and keep on going. Or more particularly, don't do this right here, okay? Because if there's nothing there, there's nothing to calculate, all right? But in our example, we did put something in there. And if we do, we want to calculate profit margin. Now, just like format number here, this is something we've written. So let's go find this. Okay, ah, right here, here it is. We're gonna calculate profit margin. Now, in this function, it accepts two parameters or two arguments, and that just means when you run it, it takes two pieces of information. If you're making a smoothie, you need at least two pieces of fruit in here. All right, we need item cost and markup value. Oh, well, we've already gotten those. We've gotten the item cost, we've gotten the markup value. So by the end of this, we've got both of those things so we can run the function. Okay, so what does this function do? Now, as we go through here, most of this function is just going to be the equation for gross profit margin. You can just Google it, and this is just the JavaScript version of that. It's just turning that equation into JavaScript. So if, if this seems a little bit complicated, it's, it, you can just Google it and look at it. So first, we're going to calculate the profit. That's the Googled equation. We're making a variable, and we're saying number item cost. So remember in our example, that is 20, and we're running this number function. Now this is a primitive JavaScript function. This is just turning it into a number. And this is because when, um, when you put an input in, it, we want JavaScript to know that this is not a string. Like this is, don't treat this as text. Treat this as a number because if you, if JavaScript knows the type of element that this is, that it is a number, oh, then we can do uh, equations with it. And so it's just turning it into a number, okay? So we got a number, we got another number thing, doing math stuff, cool. So we've got the profit, same thing with the sales price, turning that into a number, more math, that's great. Declaring this, um, if the profit uh, equals zero and, so there's two conditions in this if clause, uh, and the sales price equals zero, um, then set the gross margin, this is just avoiding a divide by zero error because you can't do that because math or something. Else, do this, set your gross margin to profit, blah, 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 blah. This is just the equation. <clears throat> okay, so now we've done this equation, we've got the values we wanted, and now it's time to inject those into the page. So so if, you've, if, if you're lost in the forest about where we are in this code, we've done this calculation. Because remember, when we put these two things in, we get three changes, three DOM changes here, three changes to the page. We've already done this. We are now doing these two. And this one was just grabbing the value and dumping in. This needs some calculation. So this is a little bit more complicated. Okay, so here we're getting text profit, which is this. We're grabbing that and we are formatting number once again and putting our profit in there. Then we're gonna display the gross margin, which is our last number right here. And we are saying text margin, that's just grabbing that. We're changing the text to 
gross margin dot to fix, that means to only two decimal places because we don't want to run on forever. We're replacing, this is some regex stuff, uh, just prettifying stuff, and more prettifying stuff show the percent so it looks nice. And that's it, that's the, that's the whole script. And so you can see in there where the IDs are that if you want to change them, you can change them to work in your design. Thanks so much for checking out this hack. Please clone this project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. If you get stuck with this implementation, no problem. We offer support for this hack. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel and sign up for our newsletter. If you want to request a new hack, submit a super simple form and all the links are in the description below. That's effing sweet.